Now let's talk about why it's important to create a customer avatar. You must figure out who you're talking to before you say anything to them. Uh, this is really important and, and the first step with paid traffic. We can't create any ad copy or create any images or really figure out any kind of targeting before we figure out who it is we're talking to. You know, what's their name? What do they do? Where do they live? How old are they? And don't freak out. I know that you don't have all of the answers to these questions and you might not need all of the answers to those specific questions. We'll, we'll talk about that too, but I do want you to start thinking. Who is your customer avatar? Who is your target market? Who are you speaking to? And there might be a few different avatars for a business. You might not even have a business or know what the avatar is, but let's just, you know, think of, of some kind of market or, or some person that you can target. That's very, very important. And we've actually created a resource uh, for, uh, for the customer avatar and to help you through this process. And just to give you a little bit of a rundown uh, before I show you uh, the avatar worksheet, which you can download, of course. Um, so yeah, we've created this to help you to find your audience. Who is your target market? Again, you have to figure out who these people are. You can print out the document and write on it. You can edit the document. Um, once you open it, write on your computer. So really, however you want to go about that, just make sure that, that you keep the document and that you know that you will need it throughout the process of, of this certification and this course. So keep it handy. It's, it's very, very important. And you're going to want to fill out um, the, the avatar sheet for as many different avatars as possible. So you're about to see one of our avatars here at Digital Marketer um, and you might have a few in your business or you might have a few products and they all have different avatars. So just keep in mind that, that each business and each situation might not use the same avatar. So you may need to create um, a few different people and that's okay. Um, and if you don't know all of the answers, please don't freak out. We're going to go through research and I'm going to teach you how to figure out, um, you know, really the answers to these questions. Um, and there really are, are three different scenarios. So you either are this person, right? So, you know, maybe you're targeting uh, a mothers of small children and maybe you happen to be a mother of small children yourself. Uh, so you're going to know a lot of answers to these questions because that person is you and, and you are very lucky. Um, but if you aren't that person, um, you can also, you could interview someone that is that person. So that's a method that we use a lot here. For example, when we're talking to an audience that, um, you know, would be interested in blogging, uh, you know, for example, um, I'll call Russ, our editorial director and say, Hey Russ, will you, will you answer these questions so that I can get to know a little bit about your market? If you don't have that option, that's fine. We can also do research online and, and I'll sh show you some tip tips and, and tricks to, to do some research on your target market. So don't worry, we will figure out the answers to these questions. Um, so here is the customer avatar document. And here's an example um, for one of our avatars. Her name is Freelance Fran. Um, again, you don't have to, you don't have to give your, your avatar a, a silly sort of pet name. You can name them whatever you want to. This just works for us. We got a little creative with Freelance Fran. Obviously, this person is a freelancer um, and, and they do client work. So these are one of the avatars that we speak to and a person that I think about a lot when we're running traffic uh, because I want to know how to best reach them. Um, so just some information that, that we have figured out about Fran, right? And these different blocks are very, very important. We're going to use this information moving forward to best speak to Fran. Um, so for example, uh, goals and values. So Fran really wants to win more marketing business, right? She wants more clients. She wants to do more business. She wants to increase her marketing capabilities. So she wants to be better at the marketing business that she is doing. 
And of course she wants to scale the business. So she wants more business. She wants to be great at it and she wants to do it at scale so that she can, can make as much money as possible. Um, some of her values, Fran is committed to providing value to her clients. She, she wants to be good at what she does and she wants to do so, uh, using, you know, white hat, uh, you know, marketing principles. She doesn't want to do anything, uh, you know, shady or black hat. Um, and she really wants to stay marketable through professional development. Um, so she, she wants to stay, um, you know, really, really on the, uh, ahead of the curve and, and she wants to make sure that, that she's up to par with, with her competitors. Sources of information. This is very important. Um, you know, what books does she read? Magazines. She might read Entrepreneur Magazine. Um, blogs and websites. You know, she stays, she stays up to date with social media examiner and copy blogger, uh, conferences. You know, she might attend social media marketing world, um, gurus, Mari Smith, uh, Michael Hyatt. Um, you know, she uses Twitter to communicate and share content. That's something unique that, that we know about Fran. Moving over, this is more demographic information. So, you know, what's her age, gender? Um, we know that she's, she's probably married. And again, guys, uh, you know, this isn't set in stone and, and we're going to fill out these sheets together. So don't worry. Um, and a lot of this is very specific, but it does help us imagine Fran so that when we are speaking to her, we can look and say, Hey, you know, I'm actually looking at Fran and, and this is, you know, this is what she looks like. This is who she is. Um, so she might have one, one child, uh, and she might live in, in Boston, right? Um, we usually do a quote. And again, this isn't something that you have to do, but it's important to really figure out who is this person. If I don't do it, it doesn't get done, right? If she doesn't do the client work, there's no one else there to do it for her. Um, her occupation, you know, she would call herself a digital marketer, um, but her job title, you know, a freelance consultant, annual income around $40,000. She's a college graduate. Um, these are very important over here, guys. Challenges and pain points, right? Um, these are very important when it comes to, to running traffic because we're going to hit the pain point of the target market in order to give them a solution. Um, so her challenges, she might not be able to scale her business. Um, maybe she isn't able to offer a wide variety of, of um, you know, different services because she doesn't have the resources or the knowledge to do so. Um, she loses businesses to agencies with more services that are lower cost providers. So that's a really big pain point for her, or that's a, that's a big challenge. Her, her pain points, you know, she needs to raise prices to earn more money, but is losing business to bigger agencies or low cost services like Craigslist or Odesk. Um, you know, she's, she's either slammed with work or she's dead. So she's having trouble. How do I find a balance of having, you know, enough work, um, while, while not running myself ragged, uh, but then next week I might have no work, right? So how do I balance this? How do I, how do I find harmony in my business? Object, ob objections and roles in the purchasing process. This is also very important. Um, so objections to the sale. So why may she say no to whatever you're having, whatever your business is offering? This is very important. You know, Fran, ne Fran needs to know how she'll be able to recover the money invested in training quickly. So maybe you bought this course or you bought this certification and you're thinking, Molly, how are you going to teach me? You know, what are you going to teach me that's going to help me make this money back? Right. Um, that's, that's a valid question. And, and that's a question that, that Fran asked. Um, if I buy this training, am I going to see a return? It's like buying traffic. Um, Fran is busy working in her business and she can't travel due to time, um, you know, family and, and money constraints. We, we know again that, that that's an objection to the sale for us. So maybe she isn't able to attend our live events, um, or, or do some of the things that digital marketer has to offer because she's busy working in her business. She, she's a freelancer. She, she doesn't really have help. Uh, so that's an objection. You know, maybe she doesn't want to attend, you know, our traffic and conversion summit or she can't because, you know, she can't take the three days away from, from her business role in the purchase 
process. That's very important because you want to know what role and what authority does this person have to say yes to whatever you're asking them for. Are they able to make the call on the sale? Are they able to make the decision of yes, we can purchase or I can purchase? That's very important. And for Fran, we know that she's a decision maker, but she may need to check with a spouse or you know whoever is maybe her her business partner or business person, not not partner in the business, but you know who does she talk to about big purchases? Uh, that person might play a little bit of a role in the purchase process, but we know that Fran is making most of the decisions, and we know if we can show her that she is going to be able to make her money back. Um, that we can we can overcome her object objections. So you guys can see how detailed, again, you aren't necessarily going to have to fill out every little piece of this, um, but all of these will come into play as we move through the course and certification and um, you know, as we do start to run traffic to your target market. Because the better you know this person, the better you're going to be able to speak to them. And you know, the more interesting you're going to be to this person and the more you're going to be able to hit their pain point and to you know, really overcome whatever objection that they may have to buying. Um, so again, please download this customer avatar sheet. Keep this in mind. Keep in mind you know, how many avatars does my business speak to? Um, again, you know, maybe you have multiple products and they all speak to different avatars. Or maybe you have one product that speaks to four different avatars. Start thinking about that. Start thinking about who this person is um, and start filling out as much of this as you can. Again, if you don't know the answers, it's okay. We'll, um, we'll start to fill these in as we move through the course. Um, but a very important document, print it out, write on it, or start, you know, open it in another tab after this video and start to fill in as, you know, as much information as you can.